welcome to tapusi educational tutorial my dear student here i bring the other part of the structure of atoms here we understand student rutherford alpha particle scattering experiment that means discovery of nucleus that we discuss in this video okay let student we understand the rutherford alpha particle scattering experiment the discovery of electron increase the curiosity of scientists about the structure of the atom the secret of the atom were revealed by ernest rutherford after the initial atom of thomson to explore it right student now we understand the experiment here alpha rays scattering experiment to know the initial structure of an atom or the arrangement of sub atomic particles in an atom rutherford bombarded a thin gold foil with alpha particles and the resultant particles were allowed to strike on zinc sulfide coated screen here the diagram is given here that you understand this alpha particle how it is scattered now the alpha particles are positively charged helium nuclei emitted from a radioactive source helium carries the mass of 4 unit and the charge of plus 2 unit gold foil with the thickness of 1000 atoms was bombarded by alpha particle which were first pass through a fine slit right student and bright flash was observed on a circular screen coated with zinc sulfide due to scattering all of, of alpha particles right student he assumed alpha particles to be much heavier than the protons and expected that alpha particles would be deflected by sub atomic particle present in the atoms of gold foil but did not expect such large deflection the result of the experiment were beyond his expectation right rutherford noticed that when the particles struck the thin metal some of them scatter instead of continue straight through it but the discovery of nucleus occurred when the hans geiger one of the assistant of rutherford notice that the number of the alpha particle scattered by and the angle greater than 10 degree was much more the predicted right so what are the what is the observation in this experiment that we conclude here observation from the experiment that we got number 1 majority of the alpha particles were passed through the gold foil without any deflection in their path number 2 a few alpha particles were deflected with small angles and a few with large angles number 3 very few one out of 12000 just turn back in the same direction now what are the conclusion derived by the rutherford number 1 most of the space in an atom is empty that mean a major portion of the space in an atom 
is empty. As most of the alpha particle pass through gold foil and deflected, gold foil is solid throughout and made up of the atom, but atoms are not solid throughout their volume. So it was concluded that most of the space in an atom is empty. Number two conclusion, positively charged nucleus at the center. Here alpha particles are positively charged and we know that same charge repel each other. So by the observation that some alpha particles rebound or get deflected from their path. He concluded that in a central part, it is a small region of atom, positive charge is concentrated. This part is known as nucleus. Number three conclusion here, very small size of nucleus. The size of a nucleus is very small as compared to total size of the atoms. Radius of the nucleus is found to be 10 to the power 5 times more than that of an atom. This was shown by the deflection of a very small number of alpha particles by the gold foil. Number 4 con conclusion is here, high density of nucleus. The nucleus has a very high density. It was shown by the rebounding of alpha particle as it does not allow alpha particle to pass through it. On the basis of calculation, he found that the size of a nucleus is 10 to the power minus 15 meter and size of an atom is 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So radius of nucleus is 1 and radius of atom is 1 lakh. Right student? Okay. So Rutherford took a thin gold foil because it can be beaten up to 1000 atoms thick. Moreover, the size of gold atom is larger than the other atom that you remember. Right? Now, my dear student, here are we going to understand the Rutherford atomic model. After the failure of Thomson atomic model, Rutherford proposed a new structure of atom on the basis of his scattering experiment. In 1911, Rutherford gave his nuclear model of atom. But after discovery of the neutrons in 1932, it was revised again. The main characteristic of this structure okay, improved the nuclear model of atom are as follows. Number one, mass concentrated in nucleus. That means the total mass of the atom is concentrated in the nucleus of the atom, positively charged protons and neutral neutrons lie inside the nucleus. Number two, the planetary electrons. The electrons revolve around the nucleus in well-defined orbit that is the circular path just like the planet revolve around the sun. Therefore, Rutherford called these electrons the planetary electrons. Number three, positively charged nucleus. The nucleus is positively charged due to presence of protons. Number four, small size of nucleus. The size of nucleus is very small as compared to total size of atom. Nucleus, uh, radius of nucleus is one and the radius of atom is one lakh. Now, number five, revolution of electron in orbit. The electrons are not stationary but revolve around the nucleus in specified path which are called orbit. It is a two-dimensional path, right? 
the electron force of attraction between electrons and nucleus is balanced by the centrifugal force now number 6 is electrical neutrality equal number of the electrons and protons are present in an atom so atom is electrically neutral right student okay now student i think you understood the rutherford atomic model now in spite of few drawbacks of rutherford atomic models okay number one rutherford could not explain the stability of atom that means rutherford proposed that electrons revolve around the nucleus under the influence of positive charge of the nucleus but according to the maxwell theory of electromagnetic wave when a charged particle revolves around the positively charged body then it is loses the energy in the form of radiation if we apply this theory to the rutherford atomic model then the first moving charge particles that is electron lose the energy continuously due to decrease in energy the speed will also go on decreasing and electrons will come closer to the nucleus ultimately the electron would fall in the nucleus and the atom should be collapsed which is not true as you know that atom is stable number two the distribution of electron in extra nuclear portion here rutherford model of atom was unable to explain the distribution of electron in extra nuclear portion of atom i hope student you understood the rutherford the alpha particle scattering experiment and their model and also we here already discuss the drawback of rutherford atomic model so next part we bring the bohr atomic model